Hey, 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 man, what's up, man? This is your boxing genius from SBMboxing.com, man. Here is signed, sealed, delivered. Ready to talk to you about what's going to happen on uh, March the 7th, man. Uh, giving a big promotion out here by uh, Al Heyman, like I've always said, which is the big mastermind behind the TMT, the Floyd Mayweather concept and things of that nature. I mean, that is the man that I think is the man that runs the show, the one who has put Floyd Mayweather Jr. where he's at today, you know? Al Heyman, as we all know, man, he has this uh, big, long list of, of uh, fighters right now, you know? And he has uh, some of his featured fighters, you know, you have the likes of Danny Garcia, you also got a uh, Adrian Broner, AB. You also got Roberto Guerrero, Robert Gagos Guerrero. And you also got the likes of Sean Porter. These four guys, man, are his featured fighters right now as we talk. He also has a Donna Stevenson. No, excuse me, not a Donna Stevenson. But he has also others like Robert uh, Gonzalez, he has a list, man. You know, he's a Qu Peter Quillen, a Chocolate kid from... Uh, from New York, he has a list, a good list, you know, and as we all know, you know, Harold Heyman was a guy who was, he was raised in Cleveland, Ohio, you know, and he studied economics, man, in a very prestigious school for a black man, as we know, and he studied economics at Harvard University, man. The guy is a celebro, you know, a mind, he, you know, his mind is really boom, it shocks, you know. Just like the geniuses, you know, he all has a lot of ideas. Well, anyway, you know, like I'm saying, you know, uh, Al Heyman is a brain, man. He's a mastermind, a smart businessman, economics at Harvard, you know. I think he started off at first was his main career was at first his music. That was his love. He started off in music, promotions, you know, and he had the likes of, boom, can't touch this. Dun, 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 dun. MC, you remember MC Hammer? He had New Edition. He also had the likes of Whitney Houston, man. Big, big, big. Mary Bly. You know, and others, you know. And he branched out then to the actual promotion of entertainment, which we all know now is boxing. He's behind the scenes again with Floyd Mayweather. And I say to people, that is the brain. Well, anyway. He created something which is called for NBC PVC, you know, premier boxing champions, you know, and I think his first card is going to happen now, March the 7th. Who's going to be March the 7th? He has featured fighters, like I said prior to that, you know, his two featured fighters are going to be the likes of Keith, one-time Thurman, against, you know, uh, Robert DeGos Guerrero. And as we all know, Keith, one-time Thurman, you know, this guy's uh, 26. He's unbeaten so far in his career, and he's racked up about, I think, about maybe 20, 21 knockouts in his 24 wins, you know, and I think his last fight was with a guy 40-year-old by the name of Bandu. There is more or less where he demonstrated that not just he has, not just does he have knockout power, he has also boxing skills. He demonstrated out there to the people that he could also weave and deal and box, you know, inside the ring. He has a little bit of ring knowledge. And he showed that to the people out there. A lot of people just didn't like that, you know. They want to see this guy knock the fuck everybody out. Don't forget, everybody's not like Triple G. I liked him. He worked the ring. He did his thing against Bandu. Bandu was not an easy man, even though he was 40 years old. He was undefeated. He's going to face, I think, his toughest opponent as of yet, that's what they say, which is Robert the Ghost Carrero. And we all know Robert the Ghost Carrero, by the way, he hasn't lost since, since uh, 2005. 2005, then he came across, you know, Floyd Mayweather Jr., and as we all know, he lost to Floyd Mayweather Jr. Now, why am I saying, you know, uh, talking about Robert Guerrero? Robert Guerrero, to me today, the way I see things, you know, I don't even know why this guy is ranked, I think, number seven or eight. He's ranked eight, I think, in the by Ring Magazine in the Walter Wade division. I say he's ranked number eight because he fought Floyd Mayweather Jr. Thurman is ranked seven, the way I see things. And, uh... 
The rankings there, you know, in the welterweight division by Ring Magazine, man, I think they suck, you know. A lot of times I think about it, everything is set up. But by the way, I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about what's going to happen March the 7th by PBC, by all Heyman's cards and things of that nature. And you also have the lights on the flip side. You also got this man called Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner is going to fight the likes of a Carlos Molina Jr. You know, Adrian Broner, as we know, tried to go up to the wall to wait. He got his ass beat up by Marcus Madonna. Marcus Madonna then had to take on FMJ for the first time, you know, uh, after he beat up on Adrian Broner. And he fought FMJ twice. Who's the likes of uh, AB? He went back down to 140. He might do a whole lot better there. He might have to stay there right now in the meantime because at 147, I always said he does not want to come up. He has to stay down there at 140. Now he's going to fight the likes of, like I said, a uh, Carlos, uh, Carl, yeah, Carlos, <coughs> John, uh, John, not Carlos, Carlos, excuse me. You got John the Gladiator Molina Jr. That's the man he's going to fight. He's going to be an all-out 140, you know, Broner, as we all know. Again, 25 is not nice about maybe, what, 22 knockouts. He has a 21-1 and one record, you know. Molina, on the other hand, he's not a funk over either. No, Molina has about 22 knockouts. His record, 27-5, and five, but he has knockout power. Again, 22 knockouts. Then you also have the likes of Ad Abner Mates. And we all know Abner Bodice is one bad little dude. Boy is 28 and 1 with 15 knockouts. He's fighting Arturo Sant uh, some guy named Reyes, Santos Reyes, you know, also from Mexico, somewhere at the 126 pounds, you know. And PB, <coughs> PB, BBC, Premium Boxing Championship, I think, you know, it's going to give a big battle out to HBO. You know, you had. Jim Lambley, you know, uh, he was scolding and giving out a shout out to Mr. Al Heyman. And there was a little here and there, you know, about the shit. But, you know, I like what I see, you know, with these uh, with these uh, cards that are coming up that Al Heyman's throwing up and BBC, you know. It's not easy with that barn of players and those barn of fighters that are coming around. And the man is giving you a showcase of fighters that they're ready to rumble in the ring, you know, the way I see things, you know, and how I like <coughs> these cards, how I like these fights, well, I'm going to tell you the truth, man. You know, I think Keith Thurman, you know, with his with his knockout power, you know, I have a feeling that, honestly, he might put away uh, Robert DeGhost, you know. Robert DeGhost lasted 20, 12 rounds at FMJ, as we know, Floyd Mayweather Jr., but why did he last 12 rounds at Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Because Floyd Mayweather Jr. doesn't have any knockout power, okay, Thurman Munch, you know, Thurman, <laughs> uh, Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman does have some power behind those punches, man, you know, and again, he showed us some boxing skills in this last fight against Mandu, you know, I'm going to take Mr. Uh, Keith Thurman, I'm going to take Keith one time Thurman out there, and I would say maybe about the ninth round, I have a feeling that Keith Thurman is going to put him out before the ninth, maybe earlier than that, it's going to be all over with. The way I see with A.B. and the way I see with Molina Jr., you know, uh, A.B. got to watch himself. A.B. got to keep stays clear out of Molina Jr.'s punching power. And if Molina Jr. has watched the fight with Marcus Madonna, the way he came at A.B., well, guess what? A.B. better watch himself because he might have been exposed by Marcus Madonna. With guys like punching power like that, and he has an excellent draw too. So you know it could be a rumble in the jungle, but I'll give it to AB on a decision. It's not gonna be easy on decision. Abner Mares, I would say Abner Mares gonna knock out this man Santos. You know Reyes, maybe before the third round, fourth round knockout. And you know other than that, you know these other undercards, I'm not gonna say or mention anything about it. All I know is that I'm going to see during the fight, and I'm going to hear one of my favorites, you know, because he was also a golden boy at the time. You know, his name was Sugar Ray Leonard. He's going to do a lot of the analyzing there at the action for uh, 
for the fights, my understanding. Sugar Ray, you know, Sugar Ray is a legacy, okay? That is a true legacy. Comes up from the wall to weight, goes all the way up to the light heavyweight. So that's a legacy. A man who was not scared to fight anybody, and a man who did not wait uh, <laughs> five or six years before he gets in the ring with that person, okay? You know, Sugar Ray at the Walter Waite division, I mean, there were people in there that they were actual contenders. The likes of Rifero Benitez from Puerto Rico, they called him the Bible of Boxing, not a slow man, and Sugar Ray knew it. He also had the likes of Roberto Mano de Piedra Duran that he lost the first fight with. On a rematch, he won, if we all remember, no mas. He also had the likes of Tommy Hearns in there, you know. So, you know, in the welterweight division, it was also very, very stocked at that time, okay. And then he went up the ranks. He went up to the weights, 154, 160, 168. 175. That is a true legacy. Okay. So, you know, FMJ, if you want to learn from that, you better watch that man and listen to that man so he knows what he's talking about. You also got Marv, uh, Marv what is it, uh, Merv Albert. Merv Albert would be giving you the blow to blow coverage, I understand, on this, uh, on this card, you know, and you got Al Michaels also, the guy for the NFL, does a lot of NFL coverage. Well, he's going to be there also hosting along with Sugar Ray Leonard. So, you know, guys, you know, people, just listen to that. I know you people really love the boxing genius, you know. You say that he talks a lot of shit, you know, sometimes, but guess what? Sometimes I know you guys want to, bam, shoot that motherfucker, but guess what, man? I'm a package. I'm a deal, you know, so I'm going to say, you know, to you guys, you guys have a good one. Hopefully March the 7th, we'll be here at Little MGM, you know, watching the fight, hosting the fight, giving you pre-fight, giving you post-fights, giving you maybe rounds as they come, the way the fights are, you know, and keep you posted with certain things. You guys have a good one. Love you. And don't forget, subscribe to SBMBoxing.com. You can watch the genius. I know you what? You love them. Good night. See you guys, man. Be good.